Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to give an introduction to the Windows version of Game Salad. Um, there's a lot of videos out there um, for the Mac version of Game Salad and I know a lot of you new Windows users are kind of getting confused and mixed up because the interfaces are totally different. So I'm going to do my best to kind of guide you to where um, the things that you'll be looking in the videos uh, would be located in the Windows version. Kind of give you a little bit of hands-on. Um, hopefully, um, I get this right. I, I, I'm not a I'm not a pro at the Windows version. I've only used it for a few hours, um, but um, I'll, I'll do my best to to get you going. Um, so let's give it a shot here. Um, some of the first things in the Windows version, you'll notice uh, I reference um, a few things. The first being um, changing the format of your game. So if I want an iPhone landscape, iPhone portrait, or you know MacBook size, where you want to choose the size of your game. Uh, in the Windows version, it's a little trickier to get to. You have to actually open it. Um, so once you open the project, um, hit File, New, and then don't save the one that came up. And then now it brings up a menu and you can choose um, what size of game you want. So you see the screen here, it's uh, iPhone size. Um, but let's say you want to make an iPad landscape. So you click that and I'll choose, I won't choose resolution independence for this. Uh, I'm going to hit create project. And now you'll see I now have a bigger, a new project with a bigger screen. And um, I can, you know, shrink that down. And that's my iPad size. And let's say you don't want an iPad size, you just go File, New, don't save this one, and now I want to choose uh, iPhone Landscape again, Create Project, boom, it's done. So that's how you'll create um, the size of the game you want to start with. Um, and that's the same thing from here in the Mac version. Um, then here we have the Scene area, and this is where you can create new scenes for your game. Um, so this would be a menu, this would be level 1, and so on. In the Windows version, um, your scenes are in this tab here. And uh, if you put your mouse over it, it says Scenes. And you can hit the plus sign to create new scenes. You can double click on the words and type what they are. Level 1. Um, so those are your scenes. Your actor window, this is where you have um, your actors. Um, and I usually make my actors in an actual scene, but uh, for the Windows version, it's under the um, little mask act, uh, thing here. And you can just hit the plus sign and create a new actor. And again, you can double click and name that actor. So, box if I want. And um, then we have our tables. Um, and in Mac, you just create a new table like that and the same here um, we can go uh, what's going on here I'm all lost again uh, what's our images where did our tables go Those layers um, Tables are here somewhere. My great project. No, I had them earlier. Um, there we go. It's under the home button here, um, and you'll see tables. And then you can hit the plus sign, and uh, just choose general table, and you got your table down here. Um, so that's under the home button. So now we'll go in. And um, we're going to go to our scene, and we're going to open our first scene. So in the Windows version, you'll see, the, or sorry, the game, the Mac version, you'll see this a lot. Um, this is, you know, where we where we control basically our whole game, um, and that is the same here, except we have something um, down called the um, the backstage, and we can turn that on and off with this button here to kind of give you more room. So I'm going to open that up here. And you see these tabs down here, it's Migrate Project, Menu, and Table 1. And we have our table here, so I'm going to um, hit Home. I'm just going to remove our table for now, so 
so the tab goes away. So in the Mac version, um, you know, you'll see me add some actors, um, and I can add them just like that by hitting the plus sign and then naming them. And I've already showed you, but we'll do it again. Uh, you're going to go into the um, the actor uh, icon, and you'll just hit the plus sign and add your actors that way. In this version, I can click that and drag it onto my scene here, just like so. Um, and I like that you see the thumbnails here. With the Windows version, you don't see the thumbnail. You just see the name of it. But you can take it just the same, take it, and drag it into your, your window here. Now, one cool thing about the Windows version, the Mac that Merger doesn't have, is that if I wanted to um, get into this actor to make rules, um, you'll see in the video I would double click it and I can put my rules in here. Um, but in the Windows version, you just click on the actor over here and it pops up down here in this tab, you'll see the, the prototype. And there's a difference between prototype and instance. So watch when I click on the actual actor on the scene, you'll see a new tab come up and it's the instance of that actor. So virtually they have the same rules until you unlock it. If I click this unlock here, um, it unlocks that. So any rules I put in here now will um, be only for this version and it will not affect this version here. And if you ever want, you can, um, at least you were able to in the Windows version, or sorry, the Mac version, you should be able to revert the prototype. Um, and it doesn't look like you can in this one so if you want to undo that just select the actor and delete it and then you can go back and drag a new one in and now it's locked again um, so we have that covered um, uh, a lot of the times in the the game I'll tell you to make a game attribute or a self attribute um, and for a game attribute in the Mac version you'll see me hit this tab here and then hit the plus sign and choose one of these um, to make the attribute. Let's say I choose index. And then I'll come over here and I'll name it. In the Windows version, um, it's pretty much the same. You hit the home button um, and then down here you have migrate project. Right here, this will be a game attribute in the mig migrate project. This is your home base. So you'll hit the plus sign and you'll choose index, boolean, integer, whatever kind of attribute you want to make. And then it'll pop up down here and you can name it. I'll just name it uh, score. And then you can type in, you know, whatever you want there. I want to start with zero. Um, and in the Mac, or the Mac version, you know, it's already set to zero, but that's fine. Now let's say you wanted to make a self attribute. A self attribute um, in the Mac version you'll see me go into an actual actor. Um, and once I have the actor open I will go into the attribute section, hit the plus sign, create the attribute and rename it. In the Mac version um, it's almost the same thing. You go into your actors, uh, here's the box I want to do it in. It opens up the tab for that box and then I hit the plus sign create my attribute it comes up down here you can name it whatever you want and put your information in there so that will be a self attribute and um, in the Mac version um, I create a self attribute and I can make a rule and sometimes I'll say um, you know change attribute self uh, and then the attribute I just made right there the GGGG I change that to something well, in the Windows version, it's it's virtually the same. I go into that actor, and um, we're going to create a rule. Or sorry, we're going to use a behavior. Um, I'm going to use uh, an action, and they have this set up a little differently. In um, in this version, we have everything all in one, and I kind of like that because it's all alphabetical, so I can find it really easily. The Windows, they 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 you know kind of put them all up into different sections. So this is an action. We're going to do the same thing, change attribute. I'll drag that in here. And we're going to change. Um, and now, in, in Windows, you'll, you'll, sorry, in Mac, you saw me hit this little window here and go to self and then the attribute. But in Windows, all you do is you hit the attributes tab right here. And you're going to go self, which is the box. And then you'll hit the, um, we called it NEG something, something, something. It's right here. 
So you click it and boom, it puts it in here. So you change that to uh, 512 for instance. And I hit the check mark for OK. And over here it would be the same thing. I change that to 512. So that's pretty much how to um, call on a self attribute. Um, and you can do the same for a game attribute. You'll see me um, you'll see me do change attribute game uh, uu u. Well, in here you'll go um, behaviors uh, change attribute, and we want to get the game attributes. So we can hit attributes, and we'll hit game. And I have a game attribute with score was the one I made. Um, so all the attributes we make in game will be there. And if I click over here, you'll see there's my score attribute right there for game. So that's pretty neat. And then you can just change it to whatever you want it. You know, um, hit OK. So that's that. Um, we have our uh, images. So let's say we want to add an image to this actor. We can um, hit our image area, hit the plus sign. And go and find an image. Let me see if I got anything good uh, in a box. There we go. So I have a box in there now. And um, I'll go to my actor window. And you again, you don't, you don't see the box. Um, you just see the 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 name, which is okay. Um, but we got my prototype here and. Um, I think there's a way to add that to the here too. We can drag that, I believe. Let's see. Into here. There you go. And now it'll put it there. And now the prototype actually has the the box in it too. And we can go to an actor. Um, and now sometimes you'll see in the Mac version when I add an image. Uh, let's find an image here. So I had an image and um, I'm going to hit back and you'll see me just drag an image into an actor. Well in the Mac version it will automatically size my actor to the size of the image and um, with the windows it doesn't do that so you're going to have to do it manually. So um, for instance I'm, this box here I believe it's 40 by 40 so you just go into your actor um, and then down here you hit size and I can go 40 by 40 and now if I drag another one on the scene it's gonna be the 40 by 40 size that I requested if you want to size it on the Windows version um, while selecting it you can actually go up here and just choose I want 60 by 60 oh that's my position sorry let's put that back sizes here and we'll go 60 by 60 and um, that's pretty much it for that um, what else would I show the, uh, the preview buttons the same so I hit preview on the Mac same thing over here on the windows it's still the green button you hit preview and it launches the preview um, I'm gonna hit uh, back to editor and with backstage, um, it's really cool because you can turn that off and you know have your full area there. Um, you can also take it out and then have it on a separate monitor. Um, I'm gonna put it back just by clicking this little corner here. Um, I guess we'll go through making a couple, you know, rules uh, on an actor and go into the actor here. And um, just to delete a rule um, in the Mac version. We go into, you know, put a rule in here or behavior, and you can just hit the X button to remove. But for the Windows version, you select it and then hit the delete button. Um, in the Mac version, you'll see uh, some presets. You'll see me go into physics here and uh, edit some stuff in here. With the Windows version, it's pretty much the same thing. You got the physics down here, and you can you know edit all that stuff um, in Mac version you maybe see me um, or someone else if to say um, bounciness on the Windows version um, it's actually called restitution okay so you want to watch out for that and any of these numbers here are usually um, between 0 and 1 um, so like say you wanted um, half you would do 0 0.5 
Um, uh, that's pretty good. Now let's say you want to make some rules. You can um, in the Mac version you're gonna see uh, you know I hit create rule and then I say when you know touch is pressed. So in this version you're gonna select this and you'll say rule and then you're gonna in this search box you'll say you know touch and then you'll select it and then you can choose uh, is pressed or released or inside and then you're gonna say do and um, let's say you wanted to add a second thing so if you want when touch is pressed and when mouse button or mouse position is over the actor. Um, in the Mac version, it would, I would say inside, but uh, you'll say over the actor. And then, so when that touch is pressed and mouse is inside, you want it to do something. So you go into the do section. Um, in the Mac version, you'll see me just put it here. I would, uh, you know, let's go with uh, destroy. Okay. In here, you're going to go do, and then you'll go into behaviors and actions, and then you'll just drag the destroy into the do area and I'll go ahead and shrink my backstage a bit and I'll press preview and now you'll see when I select it it destroys okay um, that's pretty much it for the differences in in the two um, everything else is pretty much the same you'll find things you pretty much in the same area but that should give you a good start of you know what you're looking for when you're watching a video for the Mac version and then trying to make it happen in the Windows version. Um, so I hope that helps and um, if you have any recommendations for other Windows videos just uh, let me know and I'll be happy to uh, do what I can. Thanks for watching and uh, head on over to gshelper.com for lots of great videos.